Walter Schneider, co-founder and creative director of the Chicago School of Mold Making. You may already be familiar with our artisan silicone molds and know just how great they are to create beautifully detailed and precise shapes consistently. With proper care, your silicone molds can last for years. When you first get your silicone molds, it's best to wash them with slightly soapy water to get out any oils and debris. Then either smack the mold until all the water is knocked out or dry them with a lint-free cloth. You can also put your new silicone molds in a commercial or consumer dishwasher. Just load them with the mold cavities facing down, so during the wash cycle the water doesn't pool and you won't have hard water drops. It's also best to avoid the spikes or tines. Our silicone molds can be used for freezing or baking, but we do recommend that you bake under 400 degrees. If your molds have cocoa butter film, our preferred method for cleaning them is to first sprinkle the molds with straight white vinegar. Then carefully pour boiling water over the molds face side up. It's best to let them rest until the mixture is cool enough to work with. Then using the non-abrasive side of a sponge, rub the surface until it feels clean. Then rinse with soapy warm water. If after drying, the mold surface still isn't shiny enough, just repeat the process. Now that we've washed and dried our molds, it's a natural inclination in the kitchen to wrap them in plastic. This isn't a good idea at all because it's really keeping um, fungus and bacteria in there, which we don't want. Silicone needs to breathe, so a more ideal situation is to have uh, your sheet pan, your parchment, have your silicone mold with the uh, details facing up so the bottom is flat. And then you also don't want to store them on top of each other because they might stick and then you'll be ruining the molds in the face. We don't want that. You also don't want to be storing it curled or bent like this because after a while it will retain the shape and you really can't get it back to lay flat again. Now if you're traveling in a suitcase or something and you need to roll it up, for temporary it's not a problem. You just don't want to store it that way. It's better to store it flat, dry like this, and then you want to put piece of parchment paper to protect it from dust and debris, and then you're good to go. Store them in a place that's dry and clean. I hope these tips will help keep your molds in shape for years to come. Please visit our website and join our mailing list for updates on sales and new videos. Thank you for joining us.